Yeah. For a lot of reasons, I don't really do a great deal of torch reviews, for one. I don't know whether to call them torches or flashlights. They're called torches, right? So if I say torch in my title description, I'll probably get less video hits because everyone in America, who seems to be like 90% of the YouTube audience, says flashlight. So anyway, this torch flashlight review is of my um, you know, main working light, the Claris uh, XT11 GT. Now, another reason I don't usually do torch reviews is that they're generally out of date as soon as you publish it, and then no one's looking for it anymore. You have to really be running to keep up with the, um, the current. Anyway, this is, um, that's it next to my previous, my Olight S30R. And again, this is like a um, pretty decent, I guess, tactical themed high power torch. It's 2000 lumens in its turbo mode, and it's got a really cool interface system. So lots and lots of variability and versatility which is what drew me to this one. And it is a really good, well-made torch. Um, so you say the side button here, that's like your main mode selector. And then you've got these two buttons here for rapid on, turbo, and rapid strobe. Very, very cool. So you can like, in its default setting, have it go straight to turbo by pushing the round button, or go straight to strobe by pushing the little flat, levery, flappy button. It's really, really cool. And then once you're on, you can use either the side button, or you can use the, um, the turbo sort of leaning switchy button in the back, the rampy button. <laughs> See, this is why I don't do flashlight reviews. Uh, you can use that to change all the settings as well. So it's really, really cool. Lots of variability, lots of versatility, lots of changeable modes and whatnot. Or you can just keep it super simple and just run up turbo, strobe, and low. This is it charging. Every good torch needs to be rechargeable. Rechargeable indicator is in the center. Let's get out and do some beam shots. This is it in the straight to high mode. Um, I'll probably run the torch past myself. It's definitely high enough and it definitely throws enough to illuminate whatever you're looking at really, really well. Um, the thing about this torch is that I really like is that it doesn't have like a crazy, you know, starts on low every time. It always just starts on turbo as long as you keep it on sort of straight to tactical setting. So it's got a tactical setting an outdoor setting and like a super tactical setting. So the basic one it starts with is just tactical. That's the low mode there, very low moonlight sort of mode, which is still decent enough for getting around your house. And sort of all sorts of different strobes and flashes and flickers and whatnot. So yeah, the bright is 2000, which is great for like everyday use. The strobe is 2000, there it goes. And then you've got just varying between, you know, three lumens and, you know, 1,000 lumens for your low, medium, high before you're at turbo. I'm not going to give you, like, the crazy, um, what kind of crease this is, because I'm not massively interested in the torches, but I certainly thought I'd pass on that this is the one I've been using, and this one is really, really good. It's got everything you need. It's not super complex, but it can be if you want it to be. You can look it up on the internet, on the website, and you'll see that you can change it from tactical to camping, which has a whole different set of options, to super tactical. And it's it's good if you want it to be like that, but otherwise, it's just a nice torch. So when you push on, it goes to the brightest. If you feel like strobing someone, you can push strobe, it goes to strobe. Or if you really want, you can kind of like an O-Light, just use the side switch and just go between modes. So absolutely no problems with anything about this torch. It's well made of that standard torch aluminium stuff. So no problems there at all. Only thing I don't like particularly about it is that it can't tail stand. So it's a little bit of a clumsy, um, got a clumsy shape to the back because of that ramping switch. It's got just a little bit of difficulty when you try and stand it on its back. On a super flat surface, you kind of can, but otherwise probably not the best for like around the house lantern use. But that's the only real thing that I would knock it for. It's USB rechargeable. It's well made, it's simple, it's um, got a, a 18650 battery that came with it when I got mine, which is always a bonus because sometimes getting batteries can be a bit annoying in Australia due to customs. So it came with a battery, it came with a charger, it came with some extra bits and bobs in the box which I've since put somewhere in my shed or whatever. It came with a sheath which is on my work gear, so I've just brought it home to do this review. So. Anyway, I know I'm not super technical. If you want great technical flashlight reviews, go and look at Advanced Knife Bro. This is just more of a, um, just a basic user review. And uh, I hope you've found it somewhat helpful. This is the torch that I recommend if you're asking me what sort of torch you can use for either, say, if your work as a security guard or a paramedic or a policeman or a fireman. It's a great one, but it's also pretty good for around the house. 
I would probably stick myself with my Olight uh, S30R around the house. It's got like its cool little charging dock base and it's just a bit smaller and a bit more low impact. It doesn't have like a strike bezel like this one does, which is removable, but it's a bit more modest. So I'd probably stick with that. But apart from that, this one is a great all around torch. As long as you're not planning on keeping it inside your pocket, uh, it is probably best worn on the sheath or just put on a nightstand somewhere. Anyway, Claris uh, XT11 GT is the name of this torch. Great name, by the way. Not. And um, that'll be it for me on this one. Thanks very much for watching, dudes. I'll see you later.